Our next speaker is John Giandria. John is Senior Vice President of Machine Learning and AI Strategy at Apple. He joined Apple in 2018, and he oversees the strategy for artificial intelligence across the company, and he reports directly to CEO Tim Cook. He is also responsible for the development of Core ML and Siri technologies. Hello, everybody. I'd like to thank today's host for inviting me to join you today. Uh, it's great to be here with so many experts and advocates for ethical and effective technology. I'm John Genandrea, and I lead the strategy for artificial intelligence and machine learning across Apple. At its most basic level, machine learning is about training computers using examples. And that technique is really powerful because it teaches machines to accomplish things that are impossible with conventional computer programs. Today, I want to talk to you about Apple's approach to machine learning, how we're integrating it into our work seamlessly across our products, and how we're innovating to keep privacy at the center of the technologies that we make. Machine learning has an especially bright future at Apple, not least because of our deeply held belief in making technology that's intuitive, creative, and personal. I'll start with some examples of how machine learning is transforming the products that Apple makes and the ways that users are relying on our technology to help make their lives easier. Machine learning is how the Apple Pencil recognizes your handwriting. It's how Face ID and Touch ID recognize your face or your fingerprint to unlock your device. And it's how the Apple Watch detects abnormal heart rates that could signal a rare heart condition. We think that technology should help people realize their vision and find their voice. Machine learning is not a substitute for people's creativity, but it sure can augment it. It's why machine learning is now a key part of the iPhone's camera, identifying the subject of your shot and developing the clearest features across your photos. Machine learning is also behind many of the innovations that have helped our accessibility features set the industry standard. Working with powerful microphones to visually notify deaf users when their device hears specific sounds like a fire alarm or a baby crying or a household appliance. The same is true of our voiceover technologies like screen recognition, which can make applications more accessible for visually impaired users by detecting the types of user interface components on a screen using machine learning. We think that the best applications of machine learning are focused on helping the user while blending into the background. Apple's commitment to machine learning extends beyond our own technologies and features to our huge community of developers all around the world. Using our core ML framework, developers can easily integrate machine learning models into their applications, significantly accelerating their ability to create intelligent new features and enable all new experiences for their users. Since its introduction nearly four years ago, it's been exciting for me to see how developers are using CoreML to deliver next generation applications that were previously unimaginable. Within a decade, I believe that everything we make will in some way be transformed by machine learning. And it's our commitment that every innovation will keep people's privacy at its center. At Apple, we believe that privacy is a fundamental human right. And we design our products from the ground up to protect our users' information. We make no exceptions for machine learning or anything else. If a technology is going to improve people's lives, it can't begin from the idea that privacy is at the cost of performance. At every stage of developing new technologies and features, we ask ourselves, how can we make the smartest AI with the smallest data footprint? Instead of collecting huge amounts of personal information, or storing user data on servers, or even selling it to third parties, we've taken a very different approach. Across our products and services, we use the minimum amount of data necessary to perform a task. And we process as much of people's data on device as possible. In every case, this technology is more useful and more personal to the user when the machine learning takes place on your device and in real time. Only then can it respond efficiently and effectively to the behaviors and preferences that make each user unique. It's one reason why we think that on-device machine learning is not just more privacy protecting, but also has the potential to create better experiences tailored to the individual. Apple's Photos application is a great example of this. 
in photos all of the advanced computer vision that powers searching for people, objects, and scenes in your photos happens right on your iPhone or your iPad. It works by using on-device machine learning and facial recognition not to build a huge data profile or advertising profile, but simply to help users organize, search, and share their photos. And importantly, all this is done on device so that the personal information stays private. And this strategy of applying machine learning on device carries through our other products. It's how the Apple Watch measures your heart rate while you're working out, captures an ECG, tracks the quality of your sleep, and even detects when you're washing your hands and then starts a 20 second timer. It's how Siri can read your messages to you without ever sending the content of those messages to a server. That's the case because our engineers figured out a way to run text-to-speech synthesis right on your device, allowing a more natural sounding voice without your messages ever having to leave your phone. That commitment to privacy is essential to how we run machine learned models, and it's also how we create them. We used over a billion images to train the models that make machine face ID possible, but those images didn't come from our users. We created our own data sets with high quality coverage of a diverse population to improve the recognition accuracy while protecting our users' privacy. As an engineer, I don't see any tension between on-device processing and great features. In fact, the opposite is true. It's more efficient and more effective to run models close to the data instead of constantly moving data back and forth. And this is why we architect the hardware and software of all of our devices to work together with the common goal of protecting the user. Our commitment to this on-device processing has led to better privacy protections and groundbreaking new features. We will never choose between the two because we've proven that we don't have to. When privacy is protected, machine learning has incredible potential to inspire innovation and to augment human creativity. At Apple, we're optimists about technology. We know the meaningful difference it can make in people's lives and we're humbled by how people have used our products to create, to connect, to support one another, and to reach the people that they care about. When we put in the hard work to keep innovating while protecting people's privacy, the future of this technology is incredibly exciting. And we can't wait to share and to witness so many more innovations inspired by the endless potential of machine learning. Thank you again for inviting me today, and we look forward to more opportunities to discuss these exciting technologies with you all.